Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Custom Spray Mods. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to black out all your chrome parts. Yeah, so I've got this brand new Nissan Navara. I've sold my Subarus. Uh, I needed a four wheel drive and needed a ute. So I've sold them, got a Navara. The only problem is it's got this chrome finish on a lot of the parts. It's got a chrome grill, chrome uh, fog light surrounds, uh, chrome revision mirror covers and a few other things. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to basically black them out or paint them any color you want. So I'm gonna do that um, in this video. In this video, we're gonna go over a few things. One will be painting plastic. Two will be how to paint over chrome, um, different primers to use. I'm gonna go over the different base coats you can use uh, and different clear coats you can use when you're painting over chrome uh, or anything like that. So yeah, bit of info in this video. Check it out, we'll do it now. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the parts that I want to paint. Using these clip removal tools make it easier. They're a softer plastic and can prevent any damage. Sometimes removing these parts can be difficult. If you can't get them off, then you can just mask up around them, but you risk not getting the paint on all the part that you want. Most of these chrome grills just come off with a few clips, so they're easy to get off. The chrome part of the grill can also be separated from the main plastic area. This makes it easier to paint. Because these are like a plastic material, I'm going to use uh, water, scuffing paste, and gray scuffing pads. This is going to scuff up the surface and allow my primer and paint to stick. It's also going to clean the area. Another great sanding material to use are the 3M sanding sponges. They're nice and soft, they get in all the little areas and they really scuff up the panel nice. Now I've cleaned all the parts with wax and grease remover and set them all up ready to start spraying. I'm going to spray with an adhesion promoter. It's like a clear primer that's going to help the paint stick to the parts. Now to take it one step further and spray a black etch primer over the parts. Because these are at the front of the vehicle, if you get stone chips, it's nice to have a black primer. So 10 minutes after the adhesion promoter was sprayed, I'm gonna spray two coats of the etch primer. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Um, I don't have a spray booth, I don't have a spray gun or a compressor. Well, don't worry, this stuff is available in spray cans. The adhesion promoter was spray can, and the etch primer is also available in spray can in black. Um, you can get this from a good paint shop in black. Most of the time it's gray. Either way, doesn't matter. It's in an aerosol, and you'll get the job done. After 20 minutes to allow the primer to dry, I'm ready for my paint. I've mixed black with a silver pearl to get a black sparkle type finish. Now I'm going to spray three coats over the parts, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Now I'm using a base coat that is suitable for 2K clear or 1K clear. So when you get your paint, you can pretty much choose whatever you want, but make sure you get the base coat that's going to suit the correct clear coat that you want to use. There are also types of paint that don't need a clear coat. This is a metallic type paint, so it really should have a clear coat on. So I'm going to use a 2K clear. That means two parts, clear and hardener. I'm using the same spray gun and the same air pressure. I'm going to spray two coats of clear over the parts and just let them dry and then it's finished. 2K clear will finish with the best shine. If you use a 1K clear, you can get a nice shine, but it won't last as long as the 2K. You might also have to buff it to get that nice glossy finish. 2K, glossy straight off the gun. The 2K clear can air dry. It's best if it's left overnight, but if you have a fast drying clear, it can be dry in two to three hours. 2K clear does not need to be baked. It can air dry to get just as good finish.
Also painted these headlights surrounds in my custom colour and they just stick on with double sided tape. That just gives the front end of the car that bit more black look. Now it's time to paint the alloy sports bar from the back of the ute. I'm going to treat it a little bit differently and I'm going to sand it with 400 grit dry sandpaper. Mask up all the bits I don't want paint to go on. Clean it with wax and grease remover. Then I'll be ready to spray my primer. I'm going to use 2K etch primer. When painting any metal parts, etch primer is one of the best primers you can use. It has an acid properties to it to etch the surface and really help the primer and paint stick. Because I added extra thinners to the primer, it sprayed really nice and fine and left a smooth finish. This is going to allow me to simply just spray the base coat straight on top. I'm not going to need to sand the primer because it's already a nice smooth finish. Now it's time to paint the silver roof rails. Now if you're good, you can remove the roof liner, uh, undo plastic clips from the inside of the car and unbolt the roof rails. This will make it easy to paint. I don't want to do that because I don't want to risk breaking any interior clips or damaging any sealant that's in there. So I'm just going to mask it up and paint the roof rails on the car. These roof rails are already painted silver, so all I'm going to do is sand them with a fine 3M sanding sponge, then I can apply my primer, colour and clear. I'm using the adhesion promoter again, I'm going to spray two coats of that over the roof rails, then I'll be ready for my paint. Now VG Auto Paints have put my colour into a spray can. So basically they've mixed up my custom colour, put it in a can, and I'm going to use that to spray these roof rails. I've sprayed roof rails before with a gun, and it's quite difficult because of the air hose and that's just the bulkiness of a gun. An aerosol can can really get behind and underneath roof rails when you're painting them on the car. Angling the can under the rails will help you get that part underneath. Make sure you get coverage over the whole area. I unloaded the whole can of paint on these to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Now it's time to spray clear coat. I'm going to use a 2K clear. This is 2K clear in a spray can. Basically, it's got the hardener inside the can. You use this lid attached to the bottom of the spray can. That activates the can by mixing the two parts together. You shake it up and you spray the 2K clear over your base coat. I've got a full video using this clear that you can find in the description of this video which goes over the clear in more detail. Now I'm going to spray two to three coats over the parts waiting 10 minutes between coats. Trying to get the top and sides nice and wet to get a nice smooth glossy finish.
Well, there you go. I blacked out all the chrome on the new ute. Basically, I had a chrome grill, uh, chrome fog light surrounds, the vision mirror covers were chrome, uh, sports bar, the roof rails, they were all like a chrome finish. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make them black. So it's just a matter of sanding them using the correct primer. So if you've got chrome on plastic parts, just use plastic primer. If you've got chrome on metal parts, then use etch primer. That's gonna help the paint stick and your clear coat go on nice and uh, you're gonna get an awesome painted chrome finish. So yeah, I've got a custom metallic black on there, so it's a little bit different and I reckon it looks heaps better than the chrome. Now, I was sad to see the Subarus go, but um, I needed a ute to tow. I've just uh, driven up this huge mountain. I'm in the bush, um, you know, it's towed this trailer with no problem at all. Uh, 2.3 litre twin turbo diesel motor just smashed it up the hills. And uh, yeah, um, Subarus were fun, but I needed something with a little more towing power. So yeah, really like the Navara. Um, I've still got a few more things to paint. Uh, I'm gonna paint the side steps, the uh, rear bumper, and um, the, the wheels. So if you want to see pictures of them, check out my Instagram, at Custom Spray Mods, or Facebook, and uh, you can see all the pictures there. So, hope you liked the video. Uh, my name's Dave, that was Custom Spray Mods. See you next time.